today we are on our third episode of Project M. I'm Derek from HKMSA. And I'm Jingyi from Rojak Mong. And today we have... Hi, I'm Chef Rong. Okay. Welcome, Chef Rong. Today we are third episode and we are at Anyo. So it's a Malaysian-themed restaurant. A little bit of background about Anyo is that Anyo is the transliteration of the Chinese name Aliong, which is a short form of its original name, Ajilong. Yeah, I'm not sure if the <laughs> pronunciation is right. But Ajilong refers to charming women. We can see here also there are some charming women on this um, Tay Tarek cup. And also, there are women of the Chinese descent living in Malaysia. And in other words, it's fusing the delicacy of oriental ingredients and the bold Nanyang style cookery. Today, we're going to try some amazing dishes prepared by Chef Rong and have a slight interview with him before we begin, you know, our tasting session. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, hi Chef Rong. My first question for you today is, what inspired you also to set up Anyo uh, in Hong Kong? Yeah, I found that there aren't a lot of uh, Malaysian and Singapore restaurants was doing the authentic Malaysian taste. So through Anyo, I can bring the authentic Malaysian taste to for Hong Kong people to enjoy it. Amazing, amazing. Wow. We got some questions from Jingyi as well. Oh, so uh, follow up for the question, a uh, mutton max Anyo that is like different from other Malaysian Singapore restaurant in Hong Kong. Uh, I believe the differences between other Malaysian restaurant and Anyo is mostly other Singapore and Malaysian restaurant they are doing fast food concept. The variety is not that much but with Anyo we actually have a lot of other variety that other Singapore and Malaysian restaurant can't have it. And we are we are doing a casual dining so the experience when we're dining here will be better and it's more enjoyable. And Sounds good. It's like it's really quite difficult to find the variety of Malaysian food in Hong Kong. And so, as a customer, um, can you introduce some signature dishes in Anyo? Signature dishes. There will be quite a lot, but most common one is like uh, lasa, coffee pork ribs, and maybe oatmeal prawns and lasa risotto. Quite innovation dish. We tend to uh, keep the authentic taste, but with a modern Asian presentation. Wow, I can't wait for this. Um, so one last question. Uh, what is the most challenging part to set up a Malaysian restaurant in Hong Kong? I think the most challenging part is sourcing the ingredients. Uh, some of the ingredients is very rare to find in Hong Kong. So after sourcing for some time then we decided to import all those ingredients from directly from Malaysia. That's why I think the food here will be like super authentic. Can't wait to try all this food, you know. It's all imported from Malaysia. Wow. Haven't been back in Malaysia since like, you know, all, exactly one year for me. I came back, you know, yeah, end of September. Yeah, sure. um, so yeah, thank you very much, Chef Rong, for joining us today. Uh, we can't wait to try your food today. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. As you can see on this table, I'm like blown away by Chef Rong. It's like, I think we have like 15? Is yeah, it 15 yeah, we have like 15 dishes, including dishes the drinks. drinks. Okay. And they're um, so colorful and with the beautiful decoration. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. He, he, he did it so meticulously, every one by one, everything. So he brought it one by one outside and just did it using his like, you know, chopsticks and everything. So I'm going to introduce a little bit, you know, one by one about the dishes, uh, you know, he presented. This. So we have here, um, starting off with the herbal bakute, and this one is the the white pepper. Is it the white pepper bakute? Yeah. Um, this one is the gado gado. It's uh, actually it's an Indonesian kind of uh, twist, but then he has a uh, added a Malaysian twist with it. You know, with the rojak sauce, right? The peanut sauce. We have here. Looks like brownies, but no, it's not. It's actually coffee pork ribs. Yeah. He used the uh, what? What coffee did he use? Uh, Mandarin is cafe but it right. then mixed with some other coffee powder oh yeah 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 that's yeah. amazing and then this one it's not Chinese New Year yet but this is 
老氣，因為老氣。你講老生係點 ？In in right. In Malaysia, it's called 老生。Yeah. Here we have、um, pastel butterfly pea、uh, devil eggs. <laughs> On the right here, I'm not sure you can see this. It's roti jala. You you can't really find this actually in Hong Kong. It's the first time I've seen it. And with、uh, goes with it is the curry chicken, curry chicken as well. And then this one is,、uh, I think it's very much like Hong Kong style. Yeah, yeah.、Um, never really seen this in Malaysia. It's、uh, yeah. yuzhak, right? You tell stuffed with.、Um, it's, it's called stuffed yuzhak, and、right? then there's like prawn inside. Yeah, yeah. Like from far, it's like like siu mai, but it's not siu mai. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the satay chicken and pork. The、uh, and we have we have some other toppings in it, and this one is the sago kulam lakke.、Mm -hmm. So, yeah, hi. And they also. Use butterfly、yeah. pea, everything is like so many、yeah. blues. So <laughs>、we'll、making more colorful. Yeah. This one is the banana cake, and the one in front is the laksa risotto. Yeah, laksa risotto. Yeah. Yeah. Mix between Italian and Malaysian. You don't <laughs>、yeah. really find this very First often. First time ever I see this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the last one is the oatmeal prawn.、Mm. It's kind of a makpin, yeah. huh? Yeah. Yeah, makpin, huh?、Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's all dishes I like in Malaysia. <laughs> Yeah, you never really find this in in Hong Kong. Yeah, but it's quite normal to see this in Malaysia. Yeah.、Mm. So we can't wait to try、oh, all these amazing dishes. Yeah. Let's dig right in. Yeah. I can't wait to start. Which one do you want to start? Yeah,、with? of course the pakote. Pakote, right? <laughs> you smell the aroma. It's like. Yeah.、Mm. So in the pakote, they actually pork have some different parts of pork. Okay.、Um, I cut a I cut a bit for you as well. So I think we need to can also eat with some ginger.、Mm -hmm. Oh some yeah, they have there, they have all、yeah. these sauces. The hak yao. In in Hong Kong, you always see like just soy sauce si yao, but you never really see hak yao. Oh yeah. Just like dip it in. It's quite tender. You really can try the herbal in this pork.、Mm. In this pork belly.、Right? Yeah. Soup, right? The soup. Right. Let me get some. I will can try the soup. Wow. Oh, yeah, the meat, the meat. Yeah, the meat is quite strong.、Mm -hmm. And they recommended us to try the the garlic actually. So they soaked it. I mean, like they boiled it together with the pakote. If you like garlic, if you're not a fan of garlic, you're gonna hate this. But I like garlic myself, so <laughs> I'm gonna try some of this. Actually, I can't hate garlic. You don't like garlic. Maybe it will change the, my impression to garlic.、But. It reminds me of Klang pakote.、Yeah. My my parents are from Klang, so <laughs> it brings me back home. Then we have this one, which is the white pepper pakote. A little bit resemblance of was、uh, it Singapore? Yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's from more, Singapore. Yeah, more pepperish. Let's let's try this one.、Mm. Yeah, it hits the throat. Feel the heatiness there.、Mm. It's good. But it's not really so spicy. So someone who cannot eat that spicy, this thing actually is okay yeah. for you. Yeah, and they also have a、uh, some intestine. Yeah, <laughs> the idol as well that you can eat together with this pakote.、Mm. Mm. If you don't like liver, you can choose not to have it、um, on the menu. You can just tell the chef. Yeah, I'll try the pork belly.、Mm -hmm. So for this one, actually the taste is less stronger than the herbal pakote. So you can、mm -hmm. try more of the pork taste.、Mm -hmm. All right. Next we have the coffee spare ribs. All right.、Yeah. Uh, let's dig in. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> It's a very very strong coffee taste. Yeah. He mentioned Nescafe, so it's very strong Nescafe flavor. But the blend of other ingredients kind of like complements the whole、mm, dish really well. Like, to be honest, even though the taste of the coffee is quite strong, but it won't cover the taste of other ingredients.、Mm, that's true. That's true. I mean, you don't need coffee to wake you up. You just order coffee spirits. <laughs> They do it so, so they put like little little like flowers there, and then also they're very nice decorations as well.、Mm. So Chef Rong does everything really meticulously. That's one thing I wanted to point out. You know, really fine dining. Even though it's like Malaysian food, he makes it、oh, so、yeah. special. And also, actually, the porridge is not it's not hard. It's quite tender、mm. and quite juicy. So I,、mm, I think it's quite <laughs> difficult to fry the pork until this level. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's really so tastes so good. Mm-hmm. Bella, this was highly recommended. I saw it on their Instagram page as well. Like roti roti jala bunji. For the next one, one of the dishes I'm most excited for is the laksa risotto. It's a very interesting kind of a texture. 